Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Today I have a new type of video, I want to say. I ha I don't think I've uh, done anything like this, I don't think. Sorry if that's too close on my face. But I have some stones, some crystals. Yeah, so I've been getting into collecting crystals. I don't even know what to what to call it just yet. I don't I don't know. I've been reading about crystals. I've been interested in them before, but I never really got into them. Um I don't even want to call it a hobby. You know, I don't want to throw everything at you in this video. You get what I'm saying? So today, we're just going to check out my beginner um, stone collection that I have and my crystal stone collection that I have and I'm really excited this is um, something that I'm excited to be getting into and I think what I'm going to be I'm going to be showing you them here and then I'm go ahead and show you in a different view so you can check them out um, all spaced out that sort of thing but I hope you guys like this video and let's just go ahead and start with um, what my husband got for me for my birthday. I know I showed this in one of my Vlogmas videos, but I really like it. I wish I could wear it all the time, but I can't because of the type of job that I have. I always have to take it off at work because I don't want it to get lost or broken or anything like that. I'd be very sad. But this is actually a... Um, oh my goodness, rose quartz, rose quartz bracelet, these are all rose quartz, and I actually have a few rose quartz, but yes, this is the bracelet that I like wearing, and these are oh so pretty, I wear it on my days off, and I actually usually... Um, I actually wear it to and after work because I like it so much. Um, but at work, I do stick it in my um, crystal gem stone bag that I have, which is right here. Here's my little baggie. I don't have a lot of them. Um, some of them I have, uh, I I've bought some and then giving them away in presents. So um, I've been doing quite a few things with crystals and stones and such and such, and I could probably get more into that later on in a different video. But um, the ones that I have here keeping for myself, I keep them in this bag. And um, I think I've been collecting these about October-ish time, November-ish time. And, um, yeah, so I don't have that many, and I've gotten more just recently. Um, this can be, I don't even like to call it a hobby, this can be a bit of a pricey hobby, a pricey collection. Um, so it just depends on where you find your stones. Obviously, I want to have safe, good quality, and, um... Depending on, yes, the energy of stones, you want to have them um, collected and gathered in good intentions. You know what I'm saying? So there are ways that you can heal the stone in a way. Um, but I do believe outside of crystals and stones that people put energy out and it's always better to... Um, get things from good sources, you know what I'm saying? Like good labor, that sort of thing. But, getting back into it, sorry about the rant. This is another rose quartz that I have, and I really like raw crystals. Um, I really like them in the raw form. And so this is another rose quartz. This was one of the first ones that I bought for myself. And, yeah, I just have... A few rose quartz pieces now <laughs> it's like a stone that just keeps coming to me but I I'm I'm kind of attracted to it it's it, it's part of my favorite color so I don't really know if 
that really means anything but okay so I wanted to go ahead and just say this so you can understand why I have these as well again this is the raw form of the rose quartz I wonder if maybe this would be like a tumbled form it's very smooth they smooth the stone out so that it can look like this in the bracelet and rose quartz is for unconditional love, infinite peace, finest healer, opens heart to receive love, teaches to love yourself. So those are just some qualities that you could receive from the rose quartz. So I think it is a good stone to have around and um, seems to be something that is um, drawn to me and vice versa. So let's check out another one going to actually open up in the bag let's see this is a fire quartz that i have here very pretty another raw form and just having you take a look at it hope everything is focusing so you can see Yep, it is. That's what it looks like. I'm glad it's focusing. <laughs> so this is Fire Quartz, AIDS and Calming, Hyperactive, ADD, AHD, and Anxiety, Focus, Concentration, Grounding, Youthfulness, Psychic, Attacks, Mental Healer, uh, Telepathy. If people who go towards more that sort of realm of practices. Um, but I do like the whole supposed to be a calming stone to you know grounding so you can concentrate so you can focus so that you can calm down sort of thing um for people who um may have very high energy um so i like those qualities when it comes to the fire quartz here and then let's go ahead and see this moonstone here so this is another tumbled stone here's this moonstone whoop i'm recording here on my bed actually so i hope it'll focus well on it and you can see it in good lighting you guys are going to be able to see this more too i don't i i like the tumble stones are pretty but there's something about the raw form of stones that I really appreciate. So the moonstone can calms emotions, promotes intuition and empathy, balances male female energies, calm hyperactive children. So it's just another um, good stone that I think to bring peace and relaxation into your life. I like it. <laughs> There's that. And then, not all of these stones I got from the same place, but I suppose um, quite a few I did, but not all of them. So, at the time, I got four of these, but um, this is, technically I made one for myself, so I do technically have three of these still. One of them is in a friend's present, and then this is the single stone that I have out, um, that I carry around in my bag. So this, this one, so I'm so sorry about the lighting here, but that's why I'm glad that I was going to show you guys in a different angle so you can see them all. But that's a small piece. You can tell like the difference between the size pieces. Um, so that's the Prairie Tanzanite, relieves anxiety, emotional balance, um, helps with nervous system, calms fears anxiety and i noticed this says relieves anxiety and that's spelled differently i promise i did not make these cards but anxiety is spelt wrong there it's just funny but these cards came from the place that i bought these from so like i said i did not get them all from the same place which moving on to i guess see i really don't have that many but like as time goes on i'm sure like my little collection will grow but this is a another rose quartz piece because i just like it so much but it is formed in the shape of a heart and supposedly um although i i just really appreciate the rose quartz and that's why i chose to get the heart form in the rose quartz um they say that 
having the intention of forming your stone into the shape of a heart helps for healing hearts for people. Um, whether it's from ache, whether like, um, you know, like heartache or it's from, um, uh, medical conditions, they say that, um, you can have the heart form in, in any stone. So it's just very pretty. And, um, I went ahead and got one. I have heard of them, I had seen them around, and I just recently bought it because I was just like, oh, I think I feel like buying it now. You know, sometimes you just, you know, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. Sometimes I just honestly feel that way. So, one of my other stones that I am excited to get, which again, I did not get this from the same place where I have those cards from. Um, the person that I bought them from provided those little quick information and you can look more of this online as well and on YouTube. But this is a citrine uh, crystal as I believe. A citrine and let's see. Again, I am so sorry about the lighting here but I love this stone. It's so pretty. It's a yellow stone and my husband kind of uh was talking about it. and I was just like you know what I kind of want some too so we have our own um crystals and stones um separate energy that sort of thing have our own personal intentions on our own stones he has his I have mine and um I love this citrine I really do this one I got it's just so pretty I'm glad that I found this one I can't just pick up a crystal or stone as well you know what I'm saying like if I was just like hmm I'm interested in that stone and I can't just go like oh buy the first one that I that I see um sometimes I will see a group of the stone that I was looking for and I can't get it because I'm not feeling it but the citrine is for concentrating energy towards um better life I, I can't really fully explain it. It's not just for money, but it's about better focus and it brings in money, that sort of thing. It brings in like better work ethic. Um, I can't fully explain to you what it is, which I wish I had a little note card for it, but um, I like it. I really like it. I like um, what I've heard about it and the stone itself is just very pretty and I'm really glad that I um, found the one that I did to get. So that is just my beginner collection of stones and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in more videos like this please let me know. Please put in the comments down below if you're interested in this sort of thing. This will be um, like a new type of video that I do because on my channel I do lifestyle things. Just what's ever going on in my life. So this is kind of currently what I'm doing right now. So we'll see how far I go with it. Um, if my collection will grow bigger over time. Um, I thought it would be fun to document the beginning of this, but I've been doing this for a few months now, so I don't have that many because I, I don't want to go, go into it so fast, but, you know, if I'm feeling it, I'm just like, yeah, I want one today. So, um, thanks so much, guys, and until next time, please subscribe, please like, please share, all that good stuff. Bye! <laughs>